to go in there. We're on. All right, everybody, what's happening? We've got a lot of new products here from Motobuilt, and it's time to show you guys what's going on. I know uh, quite a few of you have already seen the Gladiator and us posting about the Highline fenders and the added clearance that those have, but today we've actually released the front JLJT Highline fenders on the website and the rear JL. The factory high, cl high clearance fenders for the Gladiator will be out soon. Uh, we're running those through prototype now. But let's get back to the JL and what we have going on. I can't look at the text messages, Hunter. Uh, does everybody have good audio? Can you hear me? Let's get a little confirmation on audio. All right, looks like a couple people are responding saying that they have audio. So here we go. Our standard front fenders are a little bit different than these. These move the fender up probably a little over a couple inches. It's in the area of where the factory Rubicon fender would be. Because the factory Rubicon fender comes out and it angles down, this fender height is taller. So the JL here is a 392 with the Extreme Recon package. There's no suspension lift on this. It's running 38s with the high clearance fenders. Plenty of room for it, um, but we're probably going to opt for like a one inch lift on the front to level it out just a little bit, but it kind of proves the point that you can stick a much larger tire in there with the high clearance fenders. They do bolt on um, to install. On the fenders, you are going to be using some rib nuts. Uh, we do include those. The fenders still work with our inner fender kits. So be sure to ask questions if you guys have them. We've got a couple people on ready to uh, respond and type back if it's something that I don't miss. Um, So again, like the difference is, if you notice where the top of the fender is at the hood line, the previous fender, the top of it was down here. So it was about probably two and a half inches different. So a lot more room for larger tires. And one of the issues like running on really large tires, like 43s on the Gladiator with our other fender, you had to put a lot of bump stop spacer in to keep it out of the fender. So by going this route, we're able to get a lot more up travel, especially articulated travel, to let the suspension do what it's supposed to do. The fenders, they work with our frame mounted sliders, which are pictured here, but also our uh, body mounted and uh, body mount frame mounted rockers, the boat side style, they also work with the fenders. The outside shape, as far as the width from the Jeep to the outside edge is the same as our previous fenders. The only thing we did was move them up higher and open up the wheel well a little bit more. So kind of gives you an idea back there, like how much more they're moving up. All right, just scrolling back through some of the questions, make sure I could talk about some stuff. Hunter's doing a good job of keeping up and answering those. But appreciate the questions coming in, everyone. Um, 
you know, keep in mind too, we recently released the frame mounted rockers that weld on. And here's another product that we released today. It's the new HD Crusher front bumper with integrated fog lights. Now this bumper doesn't work with the factory fog lights. They're way too huge. So what we opted for are the Baja Designs uh, Squadron R's, which is a round light. And these are suitable for street driving. You can purchase the, the Baja Designs light in the clear uh, wide cornering spot, but also an amber. Um, on Hunter's Jeep, we have the clear wide cornering. With our previous Crusher bumpers, the skid plate was integrated into the bumper. We had quite a few customers asking for a front bumper that would have an optional skid plate so they could cut the crash bar off the front and get more clearance on the bottom. So this particular setup, we do have it installed with the factory um, Rubicon sway bar with the optional skid plate. Now, the other thing that kind of stands out that we haven't done before is a fabricated bull bar. This bull bar will work on the Crusher HD, obviously, but it'll also work on all of our other Crusher bumpers for both the JK and the JL, which uh, raises another question I'm sure some of you might have. When is this going to be available for the JK and the JKU? Uh, we already have the Crusher HD series going through our prototype process here at Motobuilt for the JK, so you guys should hear some news on that pretty soon. The winch is recessed, and this is a 12,000 pound worn VR winch. The Platinum will also fit in there. Um, it's kind of hard to comment on every single winch manufacturer or what will fit, won't fit, and all that so any other questions kind of scrolling back through there so as you see like if you remove the optional skid plate and cut that crash bar off that would create a lot more clearance on the front Hey, I appreciate the compliments. We do not have this high clearance version for the JK yet. That is something that is on our radar to do. So in the coming months, um, you'll probably see some more news about that. But again, the Crusher HD front bumper with optional fabricated hoop and op optional skid plate that will be available for the JK and JKU very, very soon. Um, Hunter's answering some questions I see about the JL half doors. Anybody want to see them? Let's see some waves, some comments or something. I've got a couple of them laying here, ready to go for the Gladiator. Man, that's a lot of clearance for no lift kit on this JL with 38s with high clearance fenders. Now granted, the Extreme Recon package does sit a little bit higher than the standard JL. All right, I see a few people posting up wanting to see some doors. Our doors are much different than what's offered on the market currently. We offer them, it's not just a sheet metal piece that goes on the outside. It also has a door panel on the inside and internal latches and shuts and feels more like a real door. But keep in mind, I mean, they're not watertight like a factory half door. 
so it is a much more complete door but this is a front and rear JL and that's the uh, inner door panel that has the latch that goes on a rear door so the doors have some thickness to them and also this pocket on the bottom right there provides um, storage in each of the four doors so as you see like the inside of the door it's got thickness to it it's not just an outside piece of sheet metal like what most uh, the other product offerings are out there currently so be sure to look out for the JL half doors really soon yeah having storage is pretty nice All right, what would you guys, uh, here in the south we have a thing called love bugs. This time of year they're pretty bad. All right, anything you guys want to see specifically on this particular build with the fenders and the new Crusher HD bumper? The fenders do have integrated turn signals, by the way. Don't know that we mentioned that earlier. You know, it'd be fun to do a burnout in the shop, but recently I got on to someone that came in working on their vehicle after hours and uh, did a burnout all the way through the shop through there and kind of made a big ugly mark. So. They'd probably get on to me if I did it. All right, so do you guys have any other questions or anything? By the way, this is Dan, and if you guys ever need anything, be sure to hit me up, hit my wife up, Hunter, or uh, Bobby's usually on the online messaging a lot of times, so you can also hit him up. <laughs> Hunter saying I can do a burnout if uh, we throw the 43s on it. That'd be uh, expensive burnout. So, any other questions? Any other uh, stuff? Be sure to let us know. Someone saying, can we see the YJ build? It's hiding out right there. Hopefully we'll be back working on that thing in the next uh, couple of weeks. I know that I'm super excited about getting on it. Again, we've been busy with the gray gladiator, the red one outside, as well as a goby colored one that is in the process of being built right now, along with Hunter's 392. Um, Bender and Kurt and everybody back here in the R&D area have been super busy getting things done. YJ update, YJ update. Oh, and Hunter has been working very, very diligently, adding a whole lot of new swag items to the website. So I'd recommend getting on there, seeing what all um, she has uh, added. A bunch of new hats, uh, beanies. I think there's some hoodies, different types of kids' uh, motorboat branded clothing, and much more. So be sure to add some of those items to your cart and help represent the motorboat brand. Yeah, we had somebody saying, can't wait to see the Gobi one. We're going to install the uh, full-length bed that's similar to the Bob bed, but that's, uh, that's going to be going on that particular build to have a little bit more storage room and uh, kind of show off that product. So be sure to look out for that in the next coming few weeks. Um, yeah, Hunter's mentioned... Uh, materials on fenders a couple times in the comments so I, I guess I'll discuss that here in case uh, all of you are not reading the comments the outer fender itself 
is steel. Our inner fenders are aluminum. We chose to stick with the steel on the outside for just sheer strength. Sure, um, aluminum saves a little bit of weight, but if you get over into rocks and trees and things like that, you're gonna bend them up. And you know we don't want that happening. We wanna build a product that's gonna hold up when you take it off-roading. All right, someone's asking, is the LJ and the TJ four-link system the same length? Yes, they're absolutely the same kit. Um, the current YJ TJ offering that we have, plenty of people have installed that on the Jeep LJ. The new suspension system that we'll be releasing very, very soon um, from the YJ build that we've been working on will also work on the LJ and TJ. So kind of uh, keep a lookout for that. Gecko green. No, we don't have anything gecko green that we're building. All right, someone's asking about the suspension skid for the Gladiator. I'm not sure when we're gonna start on that. Um, it's been a little bit of a discussion, but we have some other projects we need to finish up, like the YJ back there and the Bronco. Once those are done, we may jump into working on the Gladiator a little bit more and updating some of the suspension components for that at that time. Asking about the half doors, if they'll work with the factory uppers. Best Top never provided us with uppers for us to do any test fitting. So we have not completed that process on the, on the Jeep JL slash Gladiator half doors. The JK versions can be made to work with factory uppers. Um, the YJ has a few things back there around it right now that we do not want to show on camera. So today we're not going to do a walk around on that one. We'll be back live on the YJ pretty soon and doing some walk arounds and more video and more pictures and things like that soon. Um, someone's asking about the fenders if they have daytime run lights. Um, no, the daytime run lights are not in the fenders anymore. Um, in order to run like the factory daytime run lights, they would be extending way out here and real bulky. Our intention was to keep this small, compact, and tight um, for more clearance off-roading, but also more clearance over here for super huge tires. I'm asking if we ever would do a product contest making a rack system that doesn't exist. No, we don't do product contests like that. Um, we've had people approach us wanting us to help build product and things like that, which we could certainly help out with. Um, our backlog in the design department right now is rather hefty. Uh, between myself, Bruce, and Michael, we've got our hands full. But if there's something um, that you would like to see manufactured, be sure to get in touch with me. Again, this is the new Crusher HD front bumper with fabricated bull bar. One thing I didn't point out earlier in the conversation is this bull bar has optional light brackets that we're gonna have posted to the website soon and they bolt on in these two locations. Um, we've designed them to fit like a single row light bar just below the crossbar right here, but also mounting a couple uh, Baja Designs LP6s or a combination of like the Baja Designs XL series lights which are we have here on the front of the Gladiator. Um, so be on the lookout for those optional brackets. Uh, they'll be added on the website very very soon. We've got to get some pictures of them with various light combinations and things and then you'll see those added. Our shop is located in Ozark, Alabama. We're in this uh, massive 85,000 square foot manufacturing facility with 
tons of inventory in here and ready to uh, get parts out the door to you. Oh, and Hunter also mentioned, for those of you that don't want to run this bull bar, it is optional. So the top of the bumper is not pre-drilled pre for it. Uh, we send out a drill guide with the bumper so that people can add it to our other Crusher Series bumpers or this one. And it just requires three holes to be drilled on each side to mount that bull bar. So those of you that do not want to run it, there will be no holes in the top of the bumper for that clean, fresh look. All right, I think uh, we've answered quite a few questions here. I mentioned um, inventory levels and things like that. Our team's been working very, very hard to ensure that we can have a lot of times same day shipping. Um, we have thousands of items in stock. Yes, the new bumper is available now. Get online and order it. Look up the Crusher HD. The part number is MB1200 for the front bumper. The Tomahawk front bumper for us has uh, been wildly popular. We've got, starting up there, plenty of them in stock, ready to ship out to you guys. Got some other Gladiator bumpers and frame mounted rockers and more bumpers, but just mountains of inventory. Over on the other side, So, bob bed kits, more uh, frame mounted rockers, I believe those are the uh, Gladiator version there, and then the Gladiator boat side rockers. So, you know, there's a lot of companies talk about having product in stock. Um, Sure, a bunch of them really can't get around in there and show you that they actually have it. How's it going, man? Good, you all right, bro? I'm good. I'm um, asking about the Stinger bumper. Uh, we don't really offer a bumper with a single tube that's what people consider a Stinger that has a really high tube on the front. It's just... Uh, I guess not our our look, I guess you could say. What's happening? <laughs> I hear you, man. So, yeah, you know, the inventory we were just looking at, I'm going to uh, head back toward the back, but here's another row of, man, just thousands of parts, rimple steps, fender chop brackets for like the JL and the Gladiator. Man, just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of diff covers in stock. Appreciate the compliment on the shop, guys. Um, again, the purpose of walking through here is just to show you guys that we have product in stock. We're not playing around and our team has been working extremely hard over the past year getting us into this situation. Um, that massive shop banner, we could certainly uh, look at the possibility of selling one to you guys. I mean, that thing is freaking huge. What's up, fellas? Yeah, we have the smaller shop banners on the website for sale. Um, if you're wanting one of the massive ones like we have at the front of the shop, that'd be something that you guys could uh, email us about and we could get a price for you. That thing, I think it measures something like 14 foot tall and around 40 foot long. It's much bigger than you might think. So, made it back here, back to the R&D area again. This is where all the new product magic happens. 
Um, so be on the lookout for more new product and things like that coming down the pipe soon. Oh yeah, somebody talking about the, the trail badge. Hunter uh, did a great job sourcing those and I believe she's got some ordered to add to the website soon. See what the lighting gonna do there. All right, guys, I gotta jump off here and get some other things done. If you uh, need anything, be sure to hit us up. You can use the online chat on our website or message us on social media with a direct message. Uh, we get so many people commenting and tagging us on photos and videos that we can't possibly get to all of them. So if you do need something, be sure to DM us on Facebook or on Instagram or use the online chat. You can also email us, info at motobuilt.com. And the phone number here is 334-219-2333. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your Friday.